Hello everybody, thank you for joining us here at Altitude University. Have you been considering taking the Part 107 written test but you are still unsure of it? Well, I'm here today to give you the confidence to study and take that test. Now you may be wondering, why would I need to take this written test? Well, if you plan on operating an unmanned aircraft for the purpose of hire, receiving compensation, or commercial use, then you are required to take and pass the Part 107 written. If you plan on operating your unmanned aircraft purely for the purpose of recreational use or hobby, then you are not required to take this test. What can we expect from the Part 107 written? Well, the test itself is composed of 60 multiple choice questions. Now, those questions include topics like airspace, weather, aircraft performance, regulations, and so on. You get a total time of 120 minutes to complete the test. Once you've studied and you're prepared to take this test, where can we do that at? Well, first you're going to need to find your local PSI testing center. PSI is a company that works with the FAA to administer these tests. You can go to faa.psiexams.com slash faa slash login to find a local testing center near you. Now before you sign up to take the test, you will need to create an IACRA account. IACRA is a database from the FAA. When you create an account with them, you will receive what's called an FTN number or an FAA tracking number. Once you obtain that, you can go back to the PSI Testing Center website to sign up for your test. Now the test that you will be signing up for is the Unmanned Aircraft General Small UAG test. You can schedule it up to two weeks in advance and it is a total of a $175 testing fee. So what is the best way to study for this test? Well, we suggest using a self-paced online course. Now there's a lot of material to learn before you do take this test and it can seem a bit overwhelming. So the best way to approach it is to break it down by different sections or modules. I've included a snapshot here of what the Altitude University course looks like and you can see we split it up into regulations and FAA standards, weather effects, and so on. In the online course with Altitude University, we also offer chapter quizzes. For example, once you finish your module on weather effects, there will be a group of questions to check your knowledge before you move on to the next subject. We also offer practice tests that imitate your actual tests that you'll be taking with the PSI Testing Center. Now this is a great tool because it'll mentally prepare you for what you can expect on the test. And lastly, our suggestion is to be consistent. I would suggest up to three hours a week studying this material and don't take too long between finishing your courses and scheduling your written test. And our last tip here is to be consistent. If you spend up to an hour a day studying for the material and schedule your test pretty soon after you finish your course, you should be set to take the written test. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you gave you that confidence to study and take your test. Good luck.